ready, folks. The parade's on its way. Fort McLeod resident Ken Hart has been the town crier since the fourth parade. In his Old England costume, he informs onlookers that the parade is about to start. Hart says he wasn't even supposed to be in the event that year. I wasn't even going to be allowed in the parade because I wasn't registered. I said, I'm going down on the street and I'm going to tell all the people to get ready, the parade's coming. This was the 30th anniversary of the Fort McLeod Santa Claus Parade. The town puts on the largest Christmas parade west of Toronto. The event attracted thousands of people last Saturday. Not only did the parade bring in large crowds, but it also brought in a large number of entrants. 123 participants walked, rode, and drove Fort McLeod's Main Street. This year's parade theme was All Be Home for Christmas, which parade organizer Sue Risser says seemed fitting. And we have lots of families that this is actually their time. The Santa Claus Parade Weekend is their time to meet for Christmas or, you know, just family gatherings. Risser says the parade is a community event. Whether making a donation or participating in the parade, she says everyone in Fort McLeod is somehow involved. The parade honored the mayor of Fort McLeod, Sean Patience, and Miss Teen Canada, Nikita Cohan, who both say the parade brings the community together. And it really is a, a real community weekend, a, an opportunity to meet new friends and to reacquaint with old friends. Everybody's been so nice and very hospitable. We've had a great time. Of course, though, the most anticipated guest of honor was Santa Claus, whose identity is only known by few members of the parade committee. For his part, Hart says he looks forward to seeing returning faces. He enjoys taking the time to stop and talk to onlookers who have been attending the parade for years. He says he enjoys doing the event for now. Getting tougher and tougher. I'm getting older. <laughs> Risser says planning for next year's parade begins immediately after this year's. So as the parade came to an end, participants were given save-the-date cards for next year. For E! News, I'm Fallon Wagner.